I just got access to the new ChatGPT Atlas Agentic Browser, and right now I actually have it going and responding to my LinkedIn messages for me automatically, all while it's finding a recipe for me to make pasta for tonight, and it's adding these ingredients to my Instacart, all while my hands are off of the keyboard. In this video, I'm gonna break down what the ChatGPT Atlas release is, how this AI web browser might be the future of how we interact with AI and interact with our computers, and by the end, you'll see exactly what it is capable of. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, there's a link in the description to actually sign up and download this. I'm gonna download this live right now to my Mac. Here we go. We have our app. We're going to download this and I'm going to open it up right now. So first of all, it looks like it's asking me to log in with ChatGPT. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to click log into ChatGPT. Also guys, I'm trying really hard to get this video out as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to get it out within an hour of the actual live stream and the unveiling of this platform. All right, so I logged in. Now what I need to do is actually start importing. So you can see I could actually import this from Google Chrome or Safari, whatever I'm using. So I use Chrome and actually actual Dia browser. So I'm going to import that right now. I'm going to allow access. It's asking if I want to turn on browser memory. So this will essentially have the ability to search through all of your inquiries that you've had with ChatGPT Atlas. And I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna turn this on, but that's up to you if you wanna actually give them permission to do that. Next, we could ask ChatGPT on any website. I'm gonna continue with this, make your cursor a collaborator. Okay, so it's just breaking down all of the features for me to use. And boom, just like that, we have ChatGPT Atlas. That whole process took basically about like two minutes. And let me go ahead and play around with this now. So what I'm gonna do, let me just ask for it to actually go ahead and find me a recipe. Then I'm gonna see if it could actually order these ingredients for me using the agent mode, which is the really interesting part of this release. All right, so here we go, here's my prompt. And this, I'm interacting with this just as if it were ChatGPT, I write in the prompt, and you can see it's actually beginning to search right now. All right, so this all looks good. It actually gave me this recipe, creamy cottage cheese pasta and veggies. Let me go ahead and actually tell it to go, go and order this for me. I'm asking, can you go ahead and order these ingredients for me on Instacart? And I'm just clicking this plus button, clicking on agent mode. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and actually log into my Instacart account and begin actually adding this to my cart. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So I'm getting this message here. So agent mode may introduce risk. So logged in, when logged in, ChatGPT can ask, access your logged in accounts, making it faster to complete tasks. Okay, so this is a preface they're trying to make when it comes to security. If you wanna log into your accounts, you can do that. Otherwise, you could decline that if you don't want it to have access to your accounts. This is my Instacart account. I'm not too worried about the privacy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. And just like that, it's pulling up this agentic workflow where it's scrolling on Instacart, clicking on these different ingredients, adding them to the cart, and it's gonna go ahead and order these for me. Searching for all of these ingredients. And one thing I wanna mention is if you've ever used ChatGPT Agent, it functions very similar to this, but instead, inside of ChatGPT, it's directly baked into your browser here. All right, so while ChatGPT Atlas is going ahead and performing this task, let me see if I could actually perform another task while that's going on. Click on agent mode. I'm just gonna describe the task I wanted to perform. I want you to go onto my LinkedIn and find the last three messages that I received. Give me a TLDR in one sentence of each of these messages. Okay, so I'm giving it that task. I'm interested to see if it could actually pull up my LinkedIn, log into it, and even access the messages that I received by clicking through my profile. Pulling up this browser tab here. Guys, this is so cool to see this in action. I know Perplexity Comet already does something similar to this, but the fact that we could have a browser scrolling through and performing tasks for us is pretty crazy. And this is integrated directly with ChatGPT now. C clicking on each of these messages here, guys, this is really cool. Boom. And just like that, you can see on the right hand side, it pulled up these three last messages. If I want to open up the ChatGPT menu, I could just open this, shows full screen, and then I could just, you know, describe another task and it will go off and do it. So now that I did that, let me go back to Instacart and see if it was able to actually perform this for us. So here we go. All of our ingredients now are added. You can see it even understood how many pounds of chicken to add. So 3.25 pounds of chicken. And I didn't have it go ahead and check out for me, but I could click go to checkout and basically put my card information in and check this out for me. 
All right, guys, now that you can see kind of a little bit of the capability of this, let me talk about something that a lot of people probably are thinking about, Perplexity Comet. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically Perplexity's own browser that does basically the exact same thing that the ChatGPT browser does. The question that I'm interested to find out is which, like, which is faster, which could do more things, and does ChatGPT Atlas, does that have context to my actual ChatGPT history when I go to the actual ChatGPT app. These are things that I'm asking myself because if it has the ability to have context on my ChatGPT conversations that I have, I think this is much more valuable than using something like Perplexity Comet. Let me say, what is my last video video idea I had because I was actually brainstorming with ChatGPT. Boom, okay, so this does have full context on me. So this is very interesting. The fact that I'm able to integrate this with all of my ChatGPT memory, this is going to be really impactful for me to use. So right now I've actually been using something called Dia Browser, which has similar capabilities. You can see I could pull up this chat window. It has access to any of my tabs that I have open, but I do think I'm going to transition to ChatGPT Atlas to at least try it out and see how it works for myself. So guys, I know this video might've been all over the place. I just wanted to make a video as quickly as I could. So you guys could get a breakdown on the new ChatGPT Atlas Agentic Browser. So I hope you guys got some value from this. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Is this gonna replace Google Chrome for you? But thanks for staying to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.